नमस्कार मित्रों मैं प्रभात कुमार एम एल एजुकेशन से बात कर रहा हूं और आपके सामने मैं प्रस्तुत कर रहा हूं एक नया सीरीज जिसमें हम डिस्कस करेंगे साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी की दुनिया की बेहतरीन खबरें और बेहतरीन बातें तो आज का जो टॉपिक है वह मशीन्स और मशीन लर्निंग के बारे में है और वह किस तरह से दुनिया को चेंज कर रहा है उसके बारे में है तो आइए देखते हैं कि आगे हम किन बातों पर जोर देते हैं बिग कॉर्पोरेट्स एंड देयर ऑनर्स विल बी द बिगेस्ट बेनिफिशियरीज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एंड ऑटोमेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज डीम टू इंक्रीज ईयर आफ्टर ईयर इवन मैनेजरियल पोजिशन विल बी एट रिस्क as long as it will not showcase any innovation so let's understand what is the role of machine learning in the coming era so we have already entered into a era where machine learning data science high end technologies are at its peak but what's going to be the next how much more involvement of machines will be in our life this is the question so i just want to tell you one thing that today we see that in us or uk machines are doing lots of things in china machines are or even robots are serving in the restaurants and all but in india we see that these things are not that common we see that terminals are there at railway station in cinema house and all these places where we book tickets using machines but still that level is very low level means we give all the details we do lots of things manually and then we get the result so things which we can expect in coming years is that everything will be at fingertip means you are not going to do lots of things on to the screen by selecting this and that all the things will be at touch point so everything will be with the sensors and you will touch and you will be able to do lots of things and you will give voice command instead of telling anything or you are giving any commands on the screen by using selecting some buttons so your voice command will do lots of things maybe there will be various alternative like you can give voice command or you will give some input from the keyboard or from the uh, touch point but it is quite likely that if you are comfortable in selecting language you can select hindi english marathi whatever and then you can give voice commands and with that voice commands you will also use your own lifestyle of speaking and machine will automatically recognize what machine has to do so machine may ask some questions that happens in banking environment also for example i have a kotak bank account and when i talk to customer care in kotak bank account i have to tell them that yes i want to look into my personal banking account or i want to see into my cards account and all that and accordingly they direct everything uh, by using voice commands so uh, many other banks will follow kotak bank also in future so that i think that uh, kotak has taken that innovation but uh, Uh, any way i see that these kind of innovations are at the child level because when we see the top level innovations we will go to go and see how rocket science really works so when we see the rocket science we see that lots of innovations are at its peak level at its top level those kind of innovations are not present uh, uh, in the machines that are deployed in places like railway station or cinema houses or airports or in banking systems and all those things so those kind of uh, innovations are still yet to come to these places so when those innovations will come we will find that uh, whatever people who used to sell uh, something by using leaf those things and we used to distribute leaves for their advertisement and all those things are already nowhere now everybody looks at advertisement in whatsapp 
फेसबुक एंड लिंकड इन एंड ट्विटर एंड ऑल दोज प्लेसेस सो दो things are coming those advertisements which used to come on roads in newspapers and all those things now is coming in our channel in all the places where we are getting it in um, our social media places from there we pick those advertisements so the advertisements has taken its root from what you call newspaper vendors to now the social media account and uh, similarly everything will be digital so we find that uh, whatever innovations that is going that will come to our do step by using um, electronic medium and not by the physical medium people are meeting with one another over voice chat now earlier messaging text chat was there now everything is happening over voice chat and people are gathering and meeting over voice chat in various medium so things are changing so things are changing and with this changing environment you will also have to change so my question is how much automation so what will be the final level of automation what will be the state of this country and even the world when the state of automation and this uh, um, state of uh, automation and uh, this machine learning framework will be at its top at its peak even it is it is at initial phase in india it is at very initial phase so we can say that the things are going to be at the top in next 10 years not now but what will happen in this 10 years what will happen to our jobs what kind of jobs will come and what will happen to the existing jobs so this is something i am thinking from my own point of view and i have also also studied some of the um, tech uh, journalists voices and based on that i can say that uh, everything is like uh, everybody is tested by the big companies like google microsoft and uh, facebook so these companies have all our databases uh, like what kind of uh, messaging texting and all these things we do so they know a lot about us so lots of things are already with them so based on that also they sends and recommends lots of advertisements and all to us so we are already mm, getting uh, driven by them in some ways or the other ways so this is going to happen so we cannot control it 100% but yeah we can avoid giving lots of personal information avoid doing lots of communication which we otherwise we do not want to do on unsecure platform so that way we can avoid all this but uh, at the end i would like to say that uh, when it comes to everybody's job what kind of job it can be like uh, people will be doing all the manual jobs and those manual jobs will remain and whatever automation that we are doing or kind of development we are doing that will go to a next phase so what kind of manual jobs will be there and what kind of uh, scripting or automation job will be there so even development that we do is kind of a automation job so the automation job will be something in which we are doing incremental development so we will have to update with the latest technology which is doing the incremental development so whatever things we have already developed and automated that is already there and on top of that whatever incremental development we are doing that development will be there so we will have to do because uh, when we are talking about the machine learning deep learning and all this when i started learning machine learning and deep learning way back in 2006 that time python was not that popular language and that time r was also not present in that critical way so all i could do deep learning and my uh, neural network programming and all this 
and even machine learning I could do. So I did using C++ and with C++ even now it is not in a very developed framework. So all I had to do for writing a single uh, sigmoid function, I have to write a big code to write a sigmoid function. I had to write a big code to make a neuron in C++ and all these small small things took lots lots of code and uh, what can be done in just one page of code or just a hundred lines of code I had to literally write thousand lines of code for that at that point of time so you can just imagine what I did in thousand lines now can be done in just uh, uh, hundred lines in Python so you can imagine how much development has been done since then so what we used to write in thousand lines now is accomplished in just hundred lines or even fewer than that so this is called incremental development uh, over the years so in future uh, similarly maybe some new version of python will come and in that we can do that uh, 100 lines of code in just uh, 10 12 lines of codes so this is called incremental development so we will have to keep ourselves updated with those incremental developments of codes and then only we will be able to uh, stay as a developer or as an automation engineer and as a data scientist but then there are some tasks which can be done manually like all the managers manage tasks manually they do not code so managers will still be there but uh, there is an option of uh, something like bot manager so what is bot manager bot manager is means a bot will control everybody's assignment and there is no need of a manager so manager won't be there but a bot will give assignment to each and every individuals and that bot will be the manager and there will be no manager so this is also considered as one of the option of eliminating manual task so then comes the question what kind of manual task will be there in software industry after 10 years so after 10 years if somebody says I am a customer care executive executive and I say hello welcome your I am your customer care executive and I want to know what your problem you are facing in your equipment then this kind of uh, simple statement that can be communicated with somebody can also be done by using bot or a robot so robot who has very less maintenance cost and uh, that's why those robots will replace those customer care executive so customer care executive or someone who works as a terminal and just welcomes and just greets somebody those kind of tasks will be eliminated at all so what kind of task will be there so only those kind of manual tasks will be there in which you can focus some creativity so without creativity if you want to exist and you want to compete with robot you will not robot is going to be a smarter anyway than you unless you are more creativity and you have a, you have potential to bring more business compared to robot because robot can bring business only by community communicating simple words like welcome thank you and all and you will have to do the real business by bringing in your creativity as well as the knowledge like that you are a cfa or a lawyer or something you have something in built knowledge which your robot cannot have otherwise so those people who have some kind of domain knowledge and they are creative enough they can replace robot so only those people can rule the market so this is my plan for today and with this i just want to tell you and warn you that upgrade your knowledge be a domain person you have a domain knowledge be an expert in your area and also do not be a robot because robot if you are a robot robot will beat you but if you are creative you are a knowledgeable person 
then you will beat robot and if you are a developer then keep yourself updated with the latest knowledge latest technology and latest coding techniques and then only you will survive in this i